you are welcome. In this video, we will explain the project online shopping. I will show you like how to make online shopping using Python. So this is an online shopping web application project. So this project is developed using Python exam server with Apache server and then MySQL backend. So when you install exam, we'll have both these two. So whereas Apache is a web server, so any web application you record a web server. So this is web server. And MySQL is a database, database server or RDBMS. So before getting to the design of this project, so I'll suggest you please watch this video banking python web application project in our channel so in this video we explain the very basic steps required to run a web application that is how to configure exam server how to run it then how to create database in mysql how to create the tables so how the connectivity will be done and then how to create the login page how to log in so most of the things are explained in this video. So therefore we suggest you please watch this video. So this is available in our channel. So if you go to YouTube and search for iBlix tutorials and then click videos. So if you browse down, so you can see that uh, there is a banking Python web application. So even the, the link is provided in the description. So please use that or you can just straight away come here and then please check it out. So apart from this, you want to install like you no know, exam watch this video you want to install python so you can see that this is a video here and you want to view other projects please check it out here there are many projects and you want to learn python so you have a day wise classes here so please watch that also so therefore we have a huge content so therefore check it out which are the one you are interested when you're free please come to our channel and then learn also meanwhile please subscribe to our channel so if you subscribe, it will help us to provide you better and more content. Therefore, you can utilize it and you can learn things faster. Now, shopping is very common concept from the long time. Still, if you wish to do this project, no problem, please do this. And in Python, like I just explained, like what are things we can add here. So there are two modules here. One is admin module and one is a customer module. So where is an admin? Admin can log in. Then they can create all the, so they can create category here, product category. So we can categorize the product into category wise. Okay. Next one is the product details. So what are the one you would like to sell online? So that all the details you need to enter. Therefore, that is a product. This is a category and this is the product. Now customer can sign up. They can log in. They'll come to main page. So even all these are explained already in the banking project. Please watch that. Right. So next that you can search the product. Then you can list it. Then can view cart. And you can finalize the cart. And then you can view the orders. What are the orders done? Then you can also write suggestions. So in case you want to say some suggestions. You can write suggestions. There is also called the view FAQ, frequently asked questions. On the other side, admin. Now, overall sign up, admin want to know. So, therefore, you can see that customer list here. Then there is an order list. What are the order placed? That list. Then we have suggestion list. What are the suggestions are given? Suggestion list. So this admin can able to view it. What are the customers are done? So that admin can able to view it. Fine. So totally is around uh, 20 pages project and is a mini project. It's an entry level project. For a mini project, I think it will serve the purpose. Fine. Now let us move to the folder where the project is available. You can see that this is the online shopping. So these are the files which are using here. And I'll show you the tables. 
So these are the tables which are using in this project. Okay. So particularly we call the grocery database. Then is the login table. This is the category table. This is the product table. This is the customer table. Once the customer sign up, the data will come to this table. This is T card, temporary card. So once they finalize, we'll go to the main card. And this is the suggestion table. If there's the right suggestions, so we'll come to this table. This is the FAQ table. So all we need to create in a uh, MySQL. So here is the PHP MyAdmin. Here is the grocery database, category, customer, FAQ, login. All the tables are available over here. So creating all these tables is very important. So in MySQL, now all these things are done. Now come to the website. So already run the website here. So login and all is done because that is all shown in the other video. So therefore I'm not get into that. So straight away go to the category entry here and then you can see list. So the some list already entered here. You want more list so you can enter. So you can say one more category you would like to create. So here is a grocery. So let's say pickles. So we're selling pickles in this. So then you can write as a pickles. Right. So if you go to list, so that entry is done, it will come over there. So next is the product details. We can enter the products over here. First, you can check what are the products are entered here. So that will show the list here. So now if I want to enter one more product, so fine. Let's say you want to enter ready mix, select the ready mix. So yes, pulley over here. Okay, right. So then what is the product code that you have to write there? Okay, right. So this is mix and details we can enter here. And what is the price? Okay, so we are selling at uh, 30 rupees. 20 rupees is the purchase price and 30 rupees is the selling price. Okay, save now. So if you go to admin main, so if you go to list, you can able to see all the products here. Now, if you come to the customer side, customer sign up, login is already done. So you can go to search. So now you want ready mix. So under ready mix, what are the products are there that we can able to see? We can select this and you can enter the quantity. I want one more product. So then select the quantity and enter. So this is a view card. So we can view the card. So here will show the total amount. So we can confirm it. So once it's confirmed, if you come to the admin side, so admin can view customer list, what are all the customers. They can view the customer bill. Here is the customer bill. Right, the so customer can write the suggestions. So let's say, please improve your site. Please add more product. Um, ready mix product. So this is a customer session. So on the other side, when you come here, customer session list, so you can see that list will come. So what you need to understand, like how to write whole thing in Python. So one or two pages, I'll just show you. So for example, if you go to category entry, that already shown in that. So here I'll come back. I'll go to view or search. So when you search, so here is the variable one that is equal to biscuits. So this is a customer product list dot py. So I'll just open that and I'll show you customer product list. Right. So this is the one Python file. So if we edit this, so this is the prerequisites and this is to import. And now whatever the variable value. So var1 is equal to biscuits. Okay. So therefore you want to read that value. So that is what is done form get value var1. So that value will come to category name. Right. So here we take out the category name here. So so now category wise it will be filtered. So now if I come back to this, if I say for like G. Okay, maybe some error here now. So error is because first you have to give the where condition. 
after that you have to give the order by so let me change this so this is how the problem okay so in is if there is any problem it won't show you the problem where is the problem so there is only a blank screen so you need to figure out where is the problem and then you need to rectify the code okay so we'll make a separate video like how to rectify how to find where is the problem please keep watch our uh, channel so we'll explain all these things um probably in another video now i can go and refresh so you can see that is filter now so you have only parlegi so now if i go back to that and you want to say ready mix you have only ready mix so earlier this code is not enabled so because of that this is the code to filter that is not enabled so the now it's enabled okay now after executing that we'll execute the query and we'll fetch all that to the record now here we have a table and we have heading here and then table will have picture over there product list so this is the product list picture okay and then uh, we have heading here product code product name and this record will have all the records from the product table that is row each row row of 0 means first column row of 1 means second column row of 2 means third column like that so now if i click on this one again we'll send this data to the one more page you can see that customer product display dot py where var is equal to pulio gray so this is as is will send as a variable value and then we can display the product details for that you have to go to product customer product display customer product display here it is again same thing so these are the basic thing and up to this almost basic only but here you can see that form one dot get value var one so var one whatever the variable one year this data will come to this variable that is a var name from that we say select star from product tab where product code is equal to var name ordered by product code so again we'll have a row here row in record so we fetch all the values to the record from the record we'll read each column value and we displaying here then customer can enter the value and then you can submit i think that is how the code works so please try this so in case if you have any doubt let me know what is the problem or what is the problem you are facing If you have any suggestions please send us via comments and uh, please don't forget to subscribe please subscribe to our channel